Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome everyone to episode 13 of Vampire Survivors Lake game in Unity. Main menu and getting defeated. So we have a very crude outline of the game. Let's make the main menu for our game. But before we do so, let's sort our root folder. Good. Let's create a new scene called main menu. Open the newly created scene. On this scene, create two buttons, one called start game, another called exit. We will be expanding the main menu over the course of this tutorial. Ok, let's make the exit button first. Create another new component called exit button. Open the newly created script. Create public method called quit application. And inside call application quit. Let's post the message into the debug log to mark that we are quitting the application. In the editor, select exit button script and set the quit application to be called on click event. If we launch the game now and click on the button, it will pause the message, but will not stop the game. This is because application quit only work with build application and does nothing in the editor environment. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. Good. Now we want to launch the game when you press start game. Select the start game button. Create and add a new component called start game. Create a public method called start gameplay. Inside we want to switch to the gameplay scene. Actually it is called sample scene at the moment. Let's rename the scene into gameplay scene. Now while we are here, let's assign start gameplay to the onclick event. Ok, now we need to launch the gameplay scene. To do this, we need to use scene manager. And to use it we need to import scene management. Good. Now call load scene and inside the parameter we need to pass the name of the scene.
make double sure that your name of the scene is correct. In this case, it will be gameplay stage scene. Now, to make it possible to load this scene, we need to add the scene into build settings. Add the gameplay stage and main menu to the build setting. The scene which on top of the list will be loaded at launch, so put main menu on top by deleting scene from the lists. Let's test this. Let's press start game and we should get into the gameplay. Good. Now let's make it possible to lose the game and get back to the menu. Open the character and in take damage we have this message. Instead we want to introduce a way to end the game and get back to the menu. Let's isolate the game over method into separate component on the player. So create another new component called character game over. Open this script. In this script create a public method called game over, which will be called when player is defeated. Create field for game over panel, which will be shown to the player when he is defeated, to inform him that, well, the game is over. So set it to be active in game over. Make the panel in the editor with button to exit to the main menu. On the exit button, add and create a new component called exit to menu. Open this script and add switch scene to main menu. and assign it to the on-click event on the button. Hide the panel. Reference this panel on the character game over. Good. Now it will be shown when you die. Let's decrease the amount of health, so it will be easier to be defeated, for testing purposes.
but you will still be able to move around. So let's disable the player move component. Good. For testing purposes disable passive items. Make sure you disable them because they give armor and it might make it hard to test our systems because our character will not die from the incoming damage. Open the character and get the character game over. And call game over. To avoid calling this method multiple time, add bool variable called isDead. And when we become dead, set it to be true. As an intake damage, add exit gate for isDead. Let's test this. If we did, it will show the panel, and we can exit into menu. Good. We will fix this error in just a little. Don't worry about it. Right now we will continue attacking, even if we are dead, so we need to simply disable weapons objects. Actually, let's put all the weapons under one parent object, so we can just disable one object instead of all of the weapon objects. And in game over, let's make a field for this object and disable this object. Good. Now if we die and exit to main menu, if there is enemies or any other object which can spawn on destroy some objects, it will cause an error. To fix this error we will have to get rid of on destroy instantiation. Open drop on destroy, rename on destroy to be check drop. Then in the chest, destructible object, component, on take damage, call get component, drop on destroy, and call check drop. We need to make it public. Keep destroy game object. Now open enemy script and in take damage add drop on destroy check drop. Let's test this.
Good. It should fix all the issues. Good. This is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any idea about code, please leave your comment below. If you're interested in seeing what will come out of this, please subscribe. If you want to support further, you can find my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Andrew Willong, the Soul Hajdu, and Dominic Makiocha for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.